Hi everyone, I'm Izzy. Um, I'm here to help you. If you have a question for me, or some problem in your life, I hope I'll be able to understand. And so if you think that I can, then you can send me an email. Um, oh! Oh, I actually do have some emails. Okay. Uh, Sweet Georgia says, My parents don't approve of my boyfriend. It's not because he's rude or dresses like a punk, it's because he rides a motorcycle. My dad has this thing about motorcycles. Every night when I get home from a date, I will find a newspaper article or something about a motorcycle accident, and my dad has to circle the part about whether or not they were wearing a helmet. I always wear my helmet and so does my boyfriend, but that's not enough for him. What can I do to get my dad off my back? Miss Georgia, do you particularly like motorcycles? If, if this were my boyfriend, I'll tell you what I would do. I would refuse to go on any dates with him until he got rid of his motorcycle, and you can save a lot of lives that way. If it doesn't work though, I would recommend getting a new boyfriend. Why? Because a living boyfriend is better than a dead one. Oh, oh and speaking of boyfriends that are dead, Trixie Pixie writes, I think my boyfriend is a vampire. I know this because he's always wearing black and also he never sleeps. Plus sometimes he picks me up and carries me around like I weigh nothing at all. And at night I hear noises outside my bedroom and when I look out I see a figure that looks like his shadowed in the tree by my window. I haven't found any marks on my neck yet from when he comes in and drinks my blood while I'm sleeping, but I think that might be the next stage. What do you think, Izzy? Is he really a vampire? And also, should I let him drink my blood? I am totally in love with the idea of a strong guy who can't spend a minute away from me, and also, who wants a regular high school boyfriend who will die at some point in the future? Why not attach myself to someone old and rich while I'm pretty enough to keep him interested? Thanks for your advice, Izzy. I totally trust you, especially if you tell me I should stay with him. First of all, I really have to admit that I don't know very much about vampires. However, I do know stuff about possessive, stalkerish, older boyfriends who go after high school girls or who are way younger than, and stupider than women their age. If he is a vampire, maybe you should suggest that he finds a nice vampiress or whatever they're called to date, and also not to hang around outside your bedroom window while you are sleeping because, like, Ew, that's really gross. And um, also, blood drinking, I have learned, is not the most sanitary method to donate blood. So, like, if you wanted to be really nice, you could buy him a gift card to your local blood bank or something. I guess that would be nice for Christmas. And that would be really sweet of you and show that you really care about him. I hope that you don't die, because that would suck. <laughs> 